Welcome to our Great Ideas for Teaching Science video series. I'm Manny, and I'll be your guide for this edition. Today, we will highlight the resources and best practices that help teachers differentiate learning. Today's classroom contains a diverse group of students. Each has their own interests, experiences, readiness to learn, English language proficiencies, and learning preferences. With this reality in mind, how can we maximize student learning? A differentiated approach allows these students' distinctive learning needs to be addressed. By allowing students to move in and out of different grouping structures, or by providing a wide range of choices for learning, we can ensure success for everyone. The four pathways to concentrate on when trying to differentiate the classroom are content, process, product, and learning environment. Before we can differentiate content, we need to identify the student's current background and abilities surrounding the curriculum. Topic readiness tests or benchmarks will allow you to learn about the student's background and abilities in the upcoming content. Once you have identified prior knowledge or gaps in knowledge, you can begin differentiating content and create opportunities for success for all. Adjust the amount of content as necessary for your student needs. Resources to look for in your program are remediation sheets that prepare students who are not yet ready for the topic and enrichment worksheets for students who benefit from additional challenge. When adjusting the difficulty of materials, look for help in the Teacher's Edition wraparound text. You'll find differentiated instruction suggestions for special education, below level, and advanced students. Your science program should provide a variety of resources, so take advantage of the multiple ways to present content, including reading, listening, viewing, and interacting. There's also scaffolded ways to assess understanding in the focus on mastering and formative assessment sections that accompany these tools. Use these and other assessments to determine when remediation for mastery is necessary. You'll find the data tab on Realize to be a powerful way to gauge student needs for remediation. When students need additional challenging content, look to enrich content opportunities. Include scaffolded questions so students can have a structured path for showing their depth of knowledge. Science programs can do some of the heavy lifting here by providing these questions or even differentiated point of use tips in the instructor resources. Whenever relevant, bring in some enrichment materials or supporting documents. Give students more choices through open-ended inquiry. Have them plan their own procedure or make their own data table. Or you can have them do something with a step-by-step -step approach like a do-it-yourself you demonstrate lab. Process describes what students do to learn the material and make sense of it. By offering choices, we can differentiate for various learning styles and ability levels. When I see a science classroom with students accessing content in different ways at the same time, I know the opportunities for success are so much higher. Elevate Science provides a variety of ways for students to access content during class time. We can find students reading from the print or digital text, listening to teacher-led instructions, discussing prompts in peer groups, viewing multimedia such as videos, and working on online simulations or interactivities. Whenever you see a need for modifications in the process, look to the Elevate Teacher Edition for some leveled reading questions. For some students, you can help with focus by using some of our editable materials on Realize to modify parts of an assignment. The written and spoken word are essential parts of the process that leads to student learning and communicating science content and concepts. The Elevate ELD support boxes will be useful tools for differentiating instruction for all students, not just those who are developing their language skills. Inquiry and hands-on experiences are great opportunities for a differentiated approach. You can differentiate inquiry with varied levels of guidance or open-ended expectations. The age and grade level of your students will have an impact on what strategies you use more. A K-5 classroom might see more teacher-led inquiry with some stations set up for open inquiry with occasional teacher input and some opportunities for do-it-yourself labs. For the middle grades, you might expect open inquiry to be the standard approach. Your classroom can have students following different paths and versions, but they'll all complete the same lab. Elevate Science has a full suite of traditional assessments, such as benchmarks, quizzes, and tests. But students can also create other products that demonstrate their learning. In order for students to do that, teachers must differentiate their opportunities to do so. Using the options and content in a program like Elevate Science, students can present to the class, build a model, make a slide presentation, write and perform a skit, and plan a laboratory investigation. 
Teachers can give students the ability to work independently or with their peers. The resources in Elevate Science provide a variety of student product possibilities with the You Demonstrate Labs found at the end of a topic or the topic long quests. You'll find engineering design challenges, virtual labs, and digital interactivities. A classroom set up for student success is a classroom set up with a learning environment that invites all students to participate and gives them the tools to do so. Our goal for a differentiated classroom is one that helps foster a social and emotional climate where students feel supported and motivated. A science classroom full of student success will have them confident in making choices that best meet their learning needs and they will feel emotionally safe when asking for help when needed. When we create a climate that values differences in ways of understanding, we can foster new discoveries both in school and in society. The physical environment is another way to set up a healthy and productive learning environment. Classroom arrangement can go a long way when making productive workspaces. Teachers can vary the setup of a workspace to meet student needs. This can be a classroom arrangement that allows for independent activities or collaborative activities with the opportunity for teacher-directed learning when needed. A range of learning needs will exist in any group of students. Elevate Science will provide a variety of material support such as traditional books and hands-on lab materials. If students have access to electronic devices, Realize unlocks a whole digital courseware of multimedia resources for further support. Science is about doing, so go beyond the classroom and engage in outdoor learning or investigate the natural environment available to you. Students need multiple pathways to succeed. A differentiated classroom makes that success available. Look for a program that complements and elevates your teaching style, content that is challenging and engaging, processes that target various learning modalities, choice in products that demonstrate mastery, or a supportive learning environment. If you're interested in more from our gift series, check out our other videos.